when dad's away, the dog will play <laughs> on the bed. Dad does not like her on the bed. Come on. She's Later. super friendly though. She's so good. You guys, we have not updated on Ruby lately. She's been a fabulous. The only issue we have still is that she's picky about her food. Other than that, she has switched over. She thinks she's our pet now. She knows that we're her family. <laughs> she knows that she'll get a Bella Scub. So tell them about what I found online, Gabby. So mom found online like an online, like not an online, but a training course. We found a training course, and it's not just a training course, it's a trick training course. So I'm going to sign Gabby and Sophie up. It starts in our town in November, <clears throat> and after our dogs are trained for, to do these tricks, they will actually be get a certificate and be certified trick dogs. Won't that be cool? Yeah. Are you excited? But Dad, what dog are you going to take? <clears throat> Ruby. Right Ruby. Here. What dog are you going to train? Maybe Toby. I don't know. I don't. I think Toby will be too scared. No, Tyler. And Cookie. So and I Cookie. think she should do Macy. I think she, she should knows. do Macy too. What do you guys no, think? I think I should do Toby. I can tell him, tell them. But when he's scared, I can give him to you, and you can love him. That is going to be super fun. You guys, just wait. You're not going to be. You're going to be shocked at all the things that our little dogs are going to be able to do. This is not <laughs> cool. <laughs> This is not cool. You're not supposed to have dogs in the bed. Who cares? Watch. Like, she'll actually take your arm and push it down. Yeah, she lays in bed while she, and she makes sure she has every body part touching somebody. She just wants to love everybody. <laughs> Look, so cute. Every single night when Sam and I put the girls to bed, we do this crazy thing. I don't know why we do it, but we're so addicted to it. Come here, Ruby. Come here. Come here. Down here. Can no, she's allowed to just wait, just wait. All right, so basically uh, one parent stays in Sophie's room with Sophie. I'm in Sophie's room and one parent stays in Gabby's room. But Gabby's over there alone right now, right? So then what we do is we pet her and we say, Ruby, look at her. She's already looking for Gabby. She's like, I want to be with Gabby. But anyway, we see who Ruby, Ruby loves best. So we let go of her and we say, and we all call her and we say, Ruby, <coughs> let go. Ruby, <laughs> Ruby, Gabby didn't even call. <laughs> she just and, and we see who she comes first to. Let's see. Ruby, come on, Ruby. Come on. Ruby. <laughs> you love us the best. Keep calling her. Ruby. Ruby. <laughs> She's like, I don't know who I love best. <laughs> Wait, move over. Okay. okay. Ruby. Ruby, come! Ruby, come! Up, up! Ruby, up! Come here! Come on! Don't talk over me! <laughs> Bye, Ruby! Going to bed! Wait, look at that picture. That is the coolest picture. Yeah, this girl loves her family, huh? Loves me. She's like, I just want to run. <laughs> I'll run. Watch out! <laughs> that was close. <laughs> but Dad sees his footage. He's going to give me a lecture. <laughs> running for fun. <laughs> okay, I'm just sitting here at the homeschool table today working with Sophie. What are you working on, Sophie? Sophie's doing regrouping, subtracting. Subtracting two digits with regrouping. What do you think of it? Uh, thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs down. <laughs> do you like any math? Yeah, it's tricky, huh? Anyway, she's working at this and she's thinking about Schleich and how she wants all of the Schleich that we moved upstairs last week for Thanksgiving, she wants it all back downstairs now. I'm thinking, And yeah. I want you like another Schleich barn. She wants another Schleich barn. She's like, I want another Schleich barn for my birthday. And there is no way we can have another Schleich barn in this house. Like, there is no room. So we then. We take about that and put it on that. Yeah, so then I'm looking over here at the birthday present that we bought for Jacob, my grandson. And I'm thinking, man, that would be a perfect spot for Schleich. 
Wouldn't that be a perfect spot for Schleich? It's high up. No, and then the drawer cool. underneath pulls out, and you can put all your extra pieces in there and store them away. I yeah, you can put all your tack and stuff in there, but then I'm thinking, yeah, I have to give it to Jacob. It costs a lot of money. I'm definitely not going to keep it, but that would be cool, huh? Would it be cool? Yeah, Kita's thinking, I love you, I love you, Mama. That's what Kita's Kita's creepy. She's staring at me. Cookie dough's creepy. She's staring at, at us. Show like, them. There she is. She's sitting up there in her crate saying, Mama, Mama, why am I still in here? It's because you're distracting. You're super distracting to a young girl doing homeschool. Don't worry. We're almost done. Then you'll be able to get out. Don't get excited, but I think I found the perfect horse. I need your guys' advice. This is her. It's a, it's a girl. Of course, I love her because she's beautiful. Wait, I'm trying to not get... Okay, so this is her. Isn't she pretty? Thumbs on her. Wait. There's a beginner on there. Oh yeah. Kind so of like a beginner experience. Yeah, so there's pictures with her with beginners on her. So I emailed the seller and I told her everything. I tell everybody everything, full disclosure. I say, listen, my kids don't know everything. They're not perfect. They make mistakes. Oh wait, here's a picture. This is her face. I don't like the way the bridle is. Like, I don't like that part. Yeah, we won't put that kind of bridle on her. So I gave her full disclosure and she said, hey, that sounds like it would be a perfect fit. And I almost fell off my chair. So that's why she's kind of perfect. Just wait here, she's jumping. How big is that, two feet? <clears throat> Not even, right? I think that maybe is, I don't know. Okay, so she's, let me read to you guys what it says. It says, Freya is a 16 hand Percheron Hanoverian mare for sale. She loves to hack and is road safe. She has done well at schooling shows. She is best suited for low level jumpers or dressage. No, she's, it says free, but she's not free. Trailers, bathes, clips, ties, good for vet and farrier, goes barefoot and up to date on everything. Sound, some joint maintenance required. So how big of a deal is that? I feel like it's not that big of a deal, but I just wanna check with you guys. Wait, we can buy her? We could buy her. Okay, yeah, buy her. Super sweet mare, looking for her next person to love. Serious inquirer, inquirers only. No tire kickers, please. I want a They're not tire kickers, anyway. So, yeah, we definitely feel like we'd rather have a, a gelding, but, but I mean. she seems just right. She does seem just right. Why do you think she seems just right? I don't know. What do you like about her? That she's all calm. That she's calm? That's all she. Um, 16 hands. Do you think that's a good height? Yeah. Do you think that's a good height, Gabby? Yeah, so anyway, I feel like she's perfect for us. The reasons that I don't think she's perfect for us are that she's eight hours away. Eight hours away. So what do you guys think of her? So already the lady said, yep, you can, can come and look at her and buy her if you like. Okay, so when she sent me some messages, she said, yeah, she's child safe. She's been never bucked or reared. We'll challenge an advanced rider and carry around a beginner. So... The joint maintenance thing makes me think that she's not going to be good for very high jumps and I think that eventually we probably are going to need something like that so that's an issue and then the fact that she's eight hours away. I've been looking and looking and looking and literally we can't find anything that's suited for us but anyway I'm anxious to hear your guys' opinion on her and, and the joint maintenance issue. Also, I should tell you that the girl that we were gonna go and see the Appaloosa, she just has not emailed me back. She said, yeah, come this day, and then she just has not emailed me, so I think that one's not gonna work out for us. All right, you guys, something crazy just happened. You guys know how we got Ruby, and she's not very trained, and she doesn't retrieve balls, Well, Gabby just taught her this. Okay. Ruby. Retrieve. Oh, she dropped it. Come here. Oh, <laughs> now she's not going to listen. Drop it. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, wait, let's go get her a treat. Literally, it was crazy. She ran, I'm looking for the treats. 
she ran, grabbed the ball, and then brought it back to Gabby two times in a row. And we just stood there like this because we were so shocked. Sam's been playing tag with her outside and has not even worked one single time. And all of a sudden, it just clicked. And she's got it. Okay, Gabby. I showed her like, you can't get it, you can't get it. Yeah, Miranda, that's what people were saying. Okay. The treat might. Retreat! Oh, the treats are confusing her. Treat! Yeah. Ruby! Ruby! Retreat! She oh, now she just wants the treats. All right. <laughs> Yay! Good girl! Now give her a treat here. Oops. She has trouble holding the ball in her mouth. Alright, we're gonna go outside and play. Good girl! Yay! <laughs> well, I'm home and I uh, just found out that my dog can catch balls. And I've been practicing all week with her and she hasn't... She didn't do any balls or sticks. I tried with sticks because I want to get her ready for next summer. And I was going to take her to the uh, water to see if she could swim. I was going to teach her to swim too. So that maybe might be this weekend's job. You guys, it's gotten only better since this all went down this morning. I'm so excited to show Sam what happened to our amazing dog. All right, Ruby, get ready. Call her. Ruby. Here, hold her. Ruby, Ruby. Come on, Ruby. Come on, Ruby. Come on. Okay, throw it. Just throw it, so. She's in the. Bring it back. Oh. Wow. What a good girl. Throw it again. Your trees. She eats it and then she runs. Uh oh. She's still a little rusty. Can you come on, Roop? Here's the ball. Look, look, look. Get it. Oh, get it. Get it. Three. Call her. See who she likes the best. <laughs> she likes Sophie. Okay, call her and see. No! Now let's put her in the middle. Right, you guys, this is a competition to see who Ruby likes the best. All right, get ready, Ruby. Go, go. <laughs> Try that again. Poor dad. Try that again. And this time. Ruby. Okay, hold on, Ruby. Get ready. Get ready. Get go. <laughs> Cheater! All right, you guys, before I end the video, I want to tell you guys about my injury yesterday. We were at the barn, and Gabby was grooming Blue, and I was standing on one side, and she was standing on one side, and she was like, oh, get over, and she no, pushed him. No, I said I'm moving him over. She then said I'm moving him over. I'm moving him over. And so I lifted up my foot to move back, and just as I lifted up my foot to move back, he lifted up his foot and stomped down on mine. And I, it hurt so bad, you guys. I was like, ow! Because I didn't want to like freak any of the kids out. It was just us and a bunch of kids, but they all stared at me like, oh, what happened? And then I was like, oh, nothing, I'm fine. And then I was like limping everywhere, but trying not to limp. And literally, I had like pins and needles shooting up from my foot all the way up to my knee. Which one, this one? Yeah, that foot right there. And it was like starting to swell, I felt like. And I was like, holy cow. So I just started walking. I was doing laps inside the barn thinking, as long as I keep walking, it's not gonna fall off. I just need to get all the circulation going again. And then it turned out I was fine. But let me tell you, last night when I could not sleep, I could feel that whole side of my foot just aching. But it feels fine today. Nice. Oh, Macy, what did she you roll in? in? Ruby's pee. Oh That's my goodness. That's the smell. Dogs are rolling in pee. <laughs> That's the smell of dogs rolling in pee. Ruby. All right. 
blah, we are gonna blah. end today's video. We have <clears throat> a comment of the day, and it is by uh, Gossip Horses. Gossip Horses. Three hours ago. Three hours ago. And she says, I know how much it hurts, Laura. A horse named Paris stepped on my foot. I didn't scream, but I learned not to stand close to a horse while it's on a lead rope. That was also my first horse-related injury. It's good to know that- My first horse-related injury was falling off. Falling no. off the horse. I didn't like no, a front no. foot when off When you were the young, horse. we went to look like at gypsies, and a baby gypsy stepped on your foot. I remember that. Or did it I step on a... my foot? <clears throat> no, it oh, yeah, on my foot. Oh yeah, on Gabby's foot. foot. On, but it surprisingly didn't hurt. Yeah, well, most of the time I've been stepped on before a little bit and it didn't hurt, but this time it was good. It was a good one. Anyway, it's good to know that other people have had the exact same situation and I'm just not um, bad at standing next to horses. So my second fall, I did a gymnastic off of the horse. <laughs> That what it I was? did a front flip off the horse. <laughs> we, we missed it. If you guys do want to see that though, Gabby's second fall ever, and it was like the one that scared her, we have it on video. Um, Sophie, they were at horse camp, and Sophie set the camera up and was starting to groom the horse. No, and that was my first one. Oh, was that your first fall? No, that was your second fall. No, it was my first. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. First was on Blue, second was on Jasmine. So if you want to see, hear the footage, it was so good, you guys. You can hear everything that happens, and Gabby was hilarious. So I was fell Sam off after cantering a jump, he Co played lefty righty. <laughs> yeah, Bye -bye. yeah, yeah. Bye -bye. Whoop, and then she was flew off over them. Thanks. Yeah, because normally if I was just like trotting, like if that were my first time after a jump, then. I wouldn't fall off, but my legs, like, I had to do trotting without stirrups, so. So they were weak I, already? Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys, that is it for today. Don't forget, live your life your way. Don't listen to what other people want you to do. Make choices for yourself, because God has an amazing life planned just for you. Bye. 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 Sophie's in the bathroom. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.